So my initial reaction when I was told that I just won Young Alumnus of the Year, the first one ever, um, I was very humbled. There's a reason I started out at ICC. There's a reason I started my ground roots here. Um, so that humbling experience was overwhelming. I loved all of my instructors. Um, I loved getting involved, getting involved in Indian delegation, making new friends, um, starting on the kick line, getting your butt whipped on stage by Miss Kathy, um, doing more kicks than you would probably ever do in your life. And then getting ready for the football games and getting in uniform and then getting out there and you just feel the energy, you feel the crowd. Um, teachers, amazing teachers that teach psychology that remembers your name um, after you just introdu introduce it once. Um, choir, choir practices were almost, uh, that was my favorite. And art, um, I don't know if the art school is still the same, but back then when you're sitting back there and you're like, oh, I'm never gonna apply this. Now, I just came from France and Spain where uh, I did the Sagrada Familia and I were involved with things like Picasso and Monet and my fruit platters are modeled after paintings. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I not pay attention? Why did I not? study that more and uh, so the older I get the, the more these these great experiences oh my goodness not even to talk about Halloween Halloween is coming up we got into so much trouble because we went and rolled people's yards uh, back in college I don't know if I'm either even allowed to say that Dr. Cole Miss Betty Miss Betty was the one that coached me through all my pageant years um, and and pageantry at that point um, gave me the, the confidence to go into a, an interview at any point or time to, uh, to basically say who I am and believe it. Dr. Cole gave me many opportunities. I cannot thank that man en enough in my life. Um, but my whole entire experience here, if I have to think about Ms. Davis, my choir director, um, I saw her a few years after I left ICC and she's still bubbly and everything. Ms. Mary Sue and, uh, and, and Mr. Boggs, um, they were absolutely, they're still friends of mine. We're still on Facebook together, um, mock interviews after mock interviews, trying to get you ready to be a young lady and to the pageantry system that can give you more scholarships. There's so many influential people that you will look back 20, 30, 40 years from now that you will say, those are the people that shaped me in life. As an immigrant from South Africa, you start over. You basically start over and your parents come and they give you the American dream. To me, the American dream was to be the best person I can be and to have a great, amazing career. ICC gave me the opportunity to further myself in society, into my career, into success in life. And that was all through all the opportunities and all the activities on campus that you can get yourself involved in that will get you those scholarships. And that makes it possible to go to college. ICC all the way, baby. Chop it up. I'm honored and thankful for this great award. And I have to thank so many people that the list will go on forever. So I'm grateful most of all for God that gave me the strength and the wisdom and I'm grateful for every single person that shaped me into the woman I am today that gave me the strength gave me the roots and gave me the knowledge to become successful in life and ICC was my start